everyone, in this video I have the October Thompson's Craft Supplies Mixed Media Kit to share with you and this month's kit is my kit. Some of you will remember that last month's kit, the Autumn Breeze Kit, was designed in part by DT member Kasia and this one is my turn. So basically I haven't designed the whole thing by myself, I've designed it with Louise. Basically, you know, we work together on it. If she left me to my own devices then I would have probably just spent her entire year's budget on, on everything. But yes, so we designed it together. So this month's kit is called Pretty Spooky and it's kind of what it says on the tin really. It's pretty and it's spooky. I love Halloween, I just I absolutely love Halloween but I'm not over fond of cutesy Halloween like little green monsters and bright oranges mixed with per you know ugh. just personally not my thing I just I like dark and I like gothic but I also like floral so it's kind of combining all those kind of things and Louise really likes that aesthetic as well so yes we had a good time finding things for this so yes I will just jump straight in Jello. Just like last month, there is a mixed media kit and a paper or paper craft kit. They have the same theme, they have a lot of the same items. Basically, the paper craft kit is just slightly smaller, it doesn't have all the heavy mixed media items, and it has one extra, like, different item as well. So, the first couple of things I show you are in both kits. Starting with the papers, the first two are both from Heidi Swap Hawthorne. This one is called Nightfall. I don't know how well this is going to turn up on camera because it's like it's quite a subtle pattern, but it is so pretty. It's a very dark navy indigo blue in the background with a sort of damasky flower pattern which is both in black and in a sort of grey as well. If I hold it closer you might be able to see the pattern, I just don't know how well it's showing up but it is absolutely gorgeous and on the other side you have the black and white sort of distressed stripe which is very beautiful and quite Halloween-y, reminds me of Beetlejuice. The second one from Hawthorne is called Midnight, again there's a very very dark colour in the background, the sort of an indigo purpley kind of colour. Color. There is a black lacy damask subtle over the top and then these gorgeous flowers in the corner and then the reverse side here has um, like the wood effect like a birch or something in the grey and black and there's little bits of print at the bottom of the top. The next two papers are from Reminisce and I am just in love with these. This one is called Full Moon and as you can see there is a big full moon with the trees silhouetted and the crows I'm gonna say because crows are sort of generally thought of as the spookiest bird or ravens maybe and then the stars I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and then the other side I'm just in love with this kind of ethereal spooky green effect with the bright center and then the twigs coming down and the crow I just ah, oh, I love it the other one from reminisce is called a spooky night and we've got a very beautiful beautiful blue with this sort of tree stump here it's all it's just all spooky and wonderful and I love it so so much and then the other side again with that green tone is like a sort of a spooky rainforest kind of vibe going on with the bats up here and the moon behind the clouds I just this is so my thing and I love it so much Next paper is an exciting die cut paper. This is by Pebbles and it is a glitter cobweb 12 by 12 sheet and I just think this is absolutely stunning. I don't know whether to use it as one thing, just to have like put white behind it or something and then like back it a little bit in places like you would a cut file or chop it up and use just, just use bits and pieces of it in different ways. I don't know but it's just, oh, love it. And then you will get two 8x8 pieces from a Tim Holtz Halloween paper pack, either this year's one or last year's one. It will be totally random, um, although I think Louise may have given this one to me on purpose because in the paper craft kit, not the mixed media kit, is a little card thing with one of these like oldie timey, slightly spooky images on and I was banging on about how much I love them, but obviously I get the mixed media kit so... I don't know if you did do this on purpose, Louise, but either way, I'm very happy because I've got like the, the old timey, slightly spooky images and stuff. And I just, oh, I love this so much. Oh, and it's double sided. I forgot. The back is just a lovely distressed kind of thing there. And then this paper has got the gorgeous damask on it. On again, the distressed background. This one is a flocked paper. And then there's newspaper sort of prints on the other side for undertakers and gravestone makers and that kind of thing so yes very spooky very gothic I just love it 
Next, this is also in the paper kit, I believe, is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet for, by Kayser Craft. This is called the 13th Hour sticker sheet, and yes, it just goes very well with the kit. Kind of this spooky vibe, a little hint of purple, we've got the clocks, we've got the spooky twigs, which go beautifully with these papers, the clocks, the crows, it's a little alpha set here, which is very, very handy, and the clocks and the dominoes, a bit random, but I think we can use them, but yes, perfect. Probably shouldn't, you know, say perfect or compliment the kit too much, seeing as I did have a part in designing it, but oh well, I like it, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, from this point onwards, I'm not 100% sure what's gonna be in, what's different from the mixed media and the paper craft kit. Obviously there's some things I know that are definitely in the mixed media, but what I'm gonna do is list all the things in the paper craft kit in the description box, so that if you're interested in that kit, you can see the list, and then obviously everything I show you here is in the mixed media kit. Next we have these word chips from Tim Holtz, I think this is from this year's Halloween collection, so we've got Collector of Curiosities, Hocus Pocus, Something Dreadfully Wicked, Wicked and Bewitched, this is my favourite, Something Dreadfully Wicked, obviously you will get a mix of these, you will kind of get the same sort of uh, sizes and stuff, so a couple of small ones, a couple of big ones kind of thing, but different phrases will, you know, you'll get different ones. Next there are six very beautiful flowers, there's three paper ones which are from Prima Flirty Fleur, uh, we just thought that little hint of mint and obviously the grey would go really nicely, just little pops of other colours, and then these purple ones are fabric ones from 49 and Market. Then there is this huge black burlap flower, you can do so many things with this, I would just do a cluster of things in the middle like sequins or gems or something, make a big centerpiece out of it, put like a little spooky thing that I'm going to show you in a minute in the middle, so yes it's huge and it's marvellous and it's black and yeah I love it. Next we have a long length of this beautiful purple ribbon which has the flocked black mask on it and this has got the sort of the metal wiring inside it so you can manipulate it however you want and it's, yes there's a very long length of it there. Next up is this 49 and Market stamp again with the damask, I just I love the damask and it's the faded damask as well and Louise was saying in her video when she was showing the kit about how you could easily do a pattern with this stamping it and over and over and over again which I think I might have to do maybe on some white white cardstock or something, just so pretty pack of Tim Holtz uh, rub-ons, they're called Remnant Rubs, these are the Halloween themed ones and you can just see there's lots and lots and lots of things on there, obviously you could either rub it on all in one or just like little bits and pieces or you can cut them if you wanted to use like the little things separately, I don't know, there are two sheets in here, I don't know if they're different, I'm pretty sure they're the same but I will just double check, okay yeah so there's two of the same there so you've got loads and loads to use there, the little stick to do the rubbin and also you can use this packaging for something as well. I do appreciate good packaging that I can also use in projects, it just makes me very happy. Next up is this stencil by Echo Park which has the bats on it, I just thought this was super cool, the bats are like kind of slightly stylized bats, is that I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but you know, they're not just kind of normal bat shape that you get on most things, they've just they've got a bit of flair to them kind of thing, so loving that. Next up is some metal embellishments, again these are Tim Holtz Halloween ones, so we've got the three little round tags here, mine has say Poison, October 31st and Trick or Treat, again you will get a mix of these, and then there is a very large metal key here, there, and mine says found, I think they say different things on, like some of them say lost or something, I'm not 100% sure on that though, I might be getting that completely wrong. Next up, yes I know, this is a big kit guys, there is a lot of stuff in here, you will really be getting value for your money, I'm just, just saying, but yes, uh, first are some Prima, again this is the Flirty Fleur collection, the Say It In Crystals, there is a mix, as you can see, of the mint, the black, and the sparkly sort of grey as well, just Ooh, so pretty. A pack of Spiegel Mum Scrubs sequins, because yay, sequins! In here, there is all sorts of things in here, so there is a white, there's purple, there's a lilac, there's a very dark purple, and there's also just, I don't know how well you can see, but there's like a really, really dark shiny teal colour, which like matches one of those or two of those papers so beautifully, so yes, there's quite a mix going on there, and it is so pretty. And then glitter paste, because we love glitter paste, this is the Bow Bunny glitter paste, I think it's my favourite kind of glitter paste, at least of the ones that I have tried, um, this is in the colour licorice of course, because just dark black, putting it through that bat stencil, dark glittery, oh beautiful! 
And then the last two things are kit exclusives. These are made by Cal Summers, who is on the Thompsons team and her uh, little business, the Scrap Lab. So first there is these flare. I'm gonna get them out of the packaging for you. Yes, these flare have been, as I said, exclusively made for this kit. We've got Witch Please, I Put a Spell on You, and then the beautiful purple floral one, and then this one, which is my absolute favorite because I love skulls. So we've got the skull and then another sort of purpley floral cluster. I'm just, I am in love with these. They are stunning and I will put Cal's links in the description box for you as well. And then lastly, also from Cal at the Scrap Lab. Um, this I believe is just in the mixed media kit, I think. The flare are in the paper kit, but we have a 3D printed skull and a pretty big one at that. On one side it is smooth kind of thing and then the other side it is textured so you can easily sort of color this yourself we kind of went for the white color so you could then choose your color as it were you can either keep it white or you could use the glitter paste on it use acrylic paints on it use whatever you can color it yourself if should you want to i'm thinking the glitter paste the black glitter paste on this would look pretty darn spectacular myself but yeah it's pretty how big is this let us measure it it is about three by four so that is a decent decent size and i just I just love the skull. Now I did get myself some cheeky add-ons. Not all of them are necessarily to go with the kit. These, they are and they aren't kind of thing. I got them because I like the colours, but I think they might be able to go with the kit quite well as well. So two Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, packs. This one is, it doesn't have a name. Oh, I think this is one of the new ones that um, Louise got in. You can see it says exclusively designed for Thompson's Craft Supplies and it's just a beautiful mix of different blues and sort of like a mint and a teal in there, just basically all my favorite colors. So obviously I had to get this. And then this one, which is called Peacock Strut, and we've got beautiful purples in there, little hint of blue, little hint of turquoise, just, yes, again, as I said, I got them because I just love the colors so much, but I do think I will be able to use them with this kit. And then this add-on I got myself may have been a little bit of a cheeky purchase, but I just, could not resist it. This is the Die Cuts with a View Spooky and Sparkly Premium Stick with Bonus Sticker Sheet. So I will go through this because just look how gorgeous this is. It's just like, ah. This is just me in a paper pad for the most part. I just, black and white and skulls, just absolutely so my thing. The other side of that is this very beautiful marble as well. Then these skulls and the kind of menacing looking skulls, which is the best kind of skull. I just, I love it so, so very much. The other side of that is this grey, which has sort of the general Halloween-y words on there. Happy Halloween, spooky, horn, trick-or-treat, trick-or-treat, spider web. You get two of each design, by the way, I should have said, but yes. Oh, look at that cut apart. Happy Halloween, trick or treat, boo. Beautiful things on there. And then a sort of a humbug stripe on there. Again, Beetlejuice-esque. Then there is a marble with silver foiling. So very gorgeous. The other side is the grey with the strips across with skulls, spider webs, and just, oh, I love it so much. I'm sorry, I know I keep saying I love it so much, but I genuinely do. Then this paper is kind of like, like a chainmail kind of effect I think it's going for there. The other side, we've got the crows on the white background. Love that. Then that same kind of strips effect one with the skulls and the spider webs and things, but in black and white. The reverse of that is the beautiful grey and black spiders. See, I may be petrified of spiders in real life, but I kind of like them, you know, on paper. Then this paper with the kind of creepy, spooky looking owl, looks like he's got a bit of an eye twitch kind of thing going on there. He is cool. And then there's that same uh, paper that's got all the Halloween phrases on it again, but just with the black and white instead of the grey and white. Next is a grey tone on tone stars and then another marble on the reverse side of that. Then beautiful, beautiful black and white and grey watercolour florals. Just, just that phrase makes me happy in and of itself. Diagonal stripe there and then more. Oh, oh there's the lovely leaves with them. Just the little spiders in between to give you that little hint of spook. And another diagonal stripe there. This paper is just so much. Yes, we've got the three by four cutter parts and the foiling on it, the skull in the foiling. Just look, just, just look. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, just, oh, 
I can't, I can't. The risk of sounding like a teenage girl, I can't even, I can't. Just, oh, mm, yummy. And spiders on the other side, which makes me a little bit sad because I really like this, but this is just, just everything. Then we've got black and silver foiled pumpkins and then just like this sort of zigzaggy pattern on the reverse. Then more skulls in this sort of geometric kind of pattern there. And then a sort of, um, what is this colour here? It's kind of like a beigey colour. Anyway, stripe there and then this paper. Oh my goodness. Spooky damask skulls on black with silver foiling. I just, oh my goodness. I, oh, I, oh. I knew I would get to the point with this paper pad of just reverting to noises. I knew I would, but oh really just really oh can't cope and a polka dot on that side <laughs> don't think we'll be using much of this as nice as it is this is everything another spooky damask here there's a skull crossbones little spider webs and then again the sort of the dark dark gray on the black just yum 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 the other side is the spider webs and then little spiders here and there followed by spider webs in silver foiling. Would you look at that? Oh, absolutely. Just, oh, oh, yum, 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 yum. And then this pattern as well with a slight distressed effect on it as well. And then at the very back, we have that bonus sticker sheet, which is just absolutely awesome with the skulls. There's a spooky skull, trick or treat. Oh, I would like a whole sticker sheet of these florals as well. How gorgeous are they? But yes, so yes, that was the um, very naughty little extra purchase I got myself, but I have no regrets at all because it is absolutely flipping stunning. Okay, just a couple of other bits, just three bits. Um, not re necessarily related to the kit, just because I, uh, well, this thing I just got because I wanted it, really. Um, just this Arrows, uh, it's called Tribal Strips template or stencil from Kazercraft. I just... The arrows and triangles are very useful to have as stencils and I didn't have anything like this so I thought I would pick it up and then the very last things if you saw my haul a couple of weeks ago where I got the Prima Flatty Flat and Vicky Boutin um, Field Notes collection from Louise um, I said in that video that there were two bits that hadn't arrived yet and here are those, those bits that arrived before the kit came so yes it is the journaling ephemera there that looks like that just loads and loads of beautiful bits to use there and then the thicker sort of titles pack which is in this really lovely sort of black enamel effect kind of thing i really like this kind of thicker but we got one of a kind smile big collect moments uh hello friend this day hi adventure beautiful the simple things and as you see loads of little um embellishments and stuff or arrows stars and swirls and whatnot so now i feel like I'm, i am ready to start creating with vicky boot in field notes now that i have my last two bits so after spending goodness knows how long gushing over that die cuts with a view pack let's just quickly review what's in this beautiful kit so there's the hawthorn papers the reminisce papers the die cut paper sticker sheet and the two eight by eights remember those will be different kit exclusives from the scrap lab the awesome skull and flare shiny things of the crystals the sequins and the licorice glitter paste there we go the tim holtz rub-ons the stencil the metal embellishments the 49er market stamp the massive length of ribbon the burlap flower the Tim Holtz chips and the paper and fabric flowers as well. So I think you will agree there is an awful lot in this kit and the price hasn't changed at all. So just wow. I'm proud of it. I'm not going to lie. I really, really genuinely just love this kit to pieces. So yes, this kit goes on sale on October the first so set your alarms or whatever as i said i'll have more information about the paper craft kit um down in the description box as well as of course links to this links to the thompson's craft supplies all of the links facebook groups and pages and stuff so yes and remember this is my kit so you have to buy it i'm totally joking by the way totally joking but still it is absolutely gorgeous so yes there we go that was everything sorry this video was a little longer than usual but i had to show you all of that paper pad but still oh so gorgeous can't can't I can't just keep going on about it because you, I think you've got the point by now. So I'm going to go. Please let me know if you have any questions or anything, anything to say. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, okay, I'm going to go. Thank you again. Bye-bye.